him very much because he fights over the Philippines. It's the second fight outside the Philippines. He comes into the tombs of Rocky, merciless Manny Pacquiao. His 12th title fight, first defense. He's won his last seven by stoppage, so he does not mess around. He is a national hero, to say the least, in the Philippines. Everybody in the Philippines, if they can get themselves to a television tonight, will be watching Manny Pacquiao, I can assure you. He's a national hero. He returned to a Manila after winning the IBF world title in June. And they tell me he was greeted by thousands of his cheering countrymen. He and his wife, Jinky, rode through the city in a ticker tape parade, waved at fans from a Ford F-150 pickup truck with a banner that said, Return of the Champion. How big is he? Among the celebrants in attendance in the Philippines was President Gloria Rojo, who personally greeted Manny. Here is Michael Buffer. Grand Civic Auditorium, San Francisco, California, where it is officially declared by his honor, the mayor, Willie L. Brown, Jr., World Championship Boxing Day in the city by the bay. Tonight, Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated and Peter Howell's Entertainment present World Championship Boxing on HBO, brought to you in association with your undisputed king of beer, Budweiser, and sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission Chairman, Manuel Cal Soto. The promoter for our first title bout is Murad Mohammed Eminem Sparks. The three judges assigned to ringside scoring this bout on the 10-point must system will be Ricardo Baez, Raul Caiz Sr., and Marshall Walker. And when the bell rings, working for the 154th time in a world title bout, World Boxing Hall of Famer Marty Denkin. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a battle of champions, 12 rounds of boxing for the unified IBF and WBO Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing purple trimmed with gold and weighing in at 120 and one half pounds. His professional record, 33 victories, including 20 knockouts with seven losses and a draw. From Brooklyn, New York, by way of La Victoria Republica de Dominica, here is the WBO Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Agapito El Ciclo Sanchez. <laughs> and in the pundit across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing red, blue, and yellow, and also weighing, pardon me, weighing in at 120 and one quarter pounds. His professional record, 33 victories, including 24 knockouts with only two losses. From General Santos City, Philippines, presenting the IBF Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Manny the Destroyer Pacquiao. Final instructions coming up from referee Marty Dinkin, a veteran of many championship bouts. He's trying to get Pacquiao over to the center of the ring right now. Probably your first look. Here we go. I told you, Manny, what your responsibility was on. I told you what my job and responsibility was. Let's all do our job. Good luck. They're set to go. Marty Dinkin giving final instruction. Probably your first look at the world champion Manny Pacquiao. He's physically strong, good speed, tremendous punching power in both hands. Fought mostly in the Philippines, but they've been working on his defense. He'll get quite a work tonight. We're anticipating from Agapito Sanchez, who makes his home now in Brooklyn, New York. Here we go, round one, scheduled for 12. For the World IBF WBO Junior Featherweight Championship. 
IBF belongs to Pacquiao. Southpaw, as you can see. And the WBO title belongs to Sanchez. There's the record. A lot of knockouts for Pacquiao as he goes right to work as he's known to do. He keeps coming up. Left hand to the body. And Sanchez just backs out of there. Good left. Sanchez comes right back with a right left combination. Pacquiao's frustrated with himself saying, bring it on. This is going to be a lot of punches thrown in this fight. You see that left-handed style of the young man from the Philippines who is a huge national hero down there. When he won the title, they gave him one million Philippine pesos, which works out to 20,000 American dollars. But the government gave him that for his championship and appreciation of him being the world title holder. A quick flicking jab that landed from Sanchez. That guy was coming straight in, looking to load up. Sanchez very busy, up on his toes, working in and out. Halfway through round one, we're scheduled for 12. Sanchez in the blue trunks with the gold trim. Pacquiao in the multicolored trunks, white, red, white, and blue and gold. You see less movement from Pacquiao than you do from Sanchez. Good hard left hand straight into the body. He landed a body shot early in this round with his best punch. There's Sanchez trying to unload. Working behind conversations, and Pacquiao is Looking a little bit confused as he's taking on the speed of Sanchez. Good exchange inside, not a lot of damage done. There's a left hand for Pacquiao. He likes to throw a lunging straight left when he can. He'll come straight at you, no doubt about it. Crowd reacting with every punch. But not much damage so far. We're inside a half a minute of round one, but there's been a lot of action here. Scheduled for 12 for the Junior Featherweight Championship of the World. Inside works Sanchez. Backing Pacquiao out of there. Down the stairs, a little bit low with that punch, right on the belt line. Final seconds, round one. These two have come to work tonight. That's right at the end. Punches. Look at the look at the pace of Manny Merciless back out. He means business. We'll listen inside the corners a little bit as we roll up the replays for you. Freddie Rhodes working the corner for Manny Pacquiao. You got to use the jab a little bit more. Okay, you got one jab. I want a double jab. Step in and get a little bit closer. Okay. Okay? Don't let him lead to you, okay, son? Okay. All right? Double jab, okay? Obviously, what, what Freddie Rudge nice wants his way. fighter to do. Keep going. Get a little closer with his head. Let's take a look jab, at this okay? shot by Pacquiao. Right. Nice body work right there. Coming straight in, which is what he's been known to do. And we're going to round two, and he's running across the ring. He can't wait. <laughs> Merciless Manny wants to hop on Sanchez real quick. He won the title to Merciless in Las Vegas. Beat Honolo Loaba for the IBF title in the sixth round. So he likes to take his opponents out. He's not in there to dance around, that's for sure. Knockouts in the red and blue trunks, purple and gold Sanchez. Stop! 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 Looks stop. like the heads just stop. came together. We've got a headbutt. Marty Dinkins going to look at it. Go to your corner. You know, they go to the scorecard but. after the fourth round. They're going to have to take a look at this. What an unfortunate yeah, yeah, yeah. occurrence. You see the blood spewing out because we were looking forward to a lot of action in this fight, and he has got an open cut. How unfortunate. Well, he's looking at it. Looks like they're going to continue, but there's going to be a lot of work in that corner for Manny Pacquiao. As we continue round two, schedule 12, unfortunate clash of heads. 
It may have changed the strategy quite a bit for Pacquiao now because this is going to be a war of attrition with a cut opening up over his eyes. He got the worst of that clash of heads. Now he gets a little more busy. Marty Deacon telling him, keep him up, keep him up. Left hand backs Pacquiao into the ropes from Sanchez. Now Pacquiao's curving up a bit and countering. Now he backs Sanchez up. Stop! 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 You can see that Pacquiao stop. is blinking his eyes a little bit. A lot of blood spewing out of the eyebrow on the right side. Hard to see. It's going to be difficult to see, so he could be vulnerable to the left hand from Sanchez. Sanchez trying to finish this thing off if he can. Big wild stop. left that missed by two Wait. feet. In the second round, scheduled for 12. Manny Pacquiao, the world champion of the IBF, is bleeding quite a bit from that headbutt he suffered in the second round. Sanchez goes downstairs with the body, trying to work combinations. Sanchez goes to finish off what the headbutt started in this round. Under 40 seconds coming up. Round two, crowd acknowledging a great fight. Two great fighters out there. Very active. Sanchez continues to throw. Pacquiao is looking for some kind of big shot because he's a bit of trouble with the blood streaming into his eye. He can't see very well. You see he's flicking the blood away with his right glove. Tries an uppercut. Crowd yes, reacting to yes, the uppercut. Up, Came from a different up. angle that time. I tell you, corner wanted him to go more to the jab, but once you get cut like that in the headbutt, Pacquiao's probably thinking, I may not, this thing may not go the distance stop, in this situation. Stop. Stop. We'll see if they go to work on him right now. Ruben Gomez is the cut man. He's going to have his hands full on the there, trying to stop this flow. Oh, that's a wide one. That's too... Oh, feel, feel, that's, feel. Let's take a look at what happened. That is a nasty looking cut. It's Pacquiao's fault, more or less, coming in and missing, and his momentum carried him right into Sanchez's head. So it was more or less his lunge that caused this. He's that type of fighter. He's going to be aggressive and come straight in like that. But Ruben Gomez going to work, trying to put the stop bleed on it. There's some Sanchez going to work here. Sanchez picked up the pace after the headbutt, seeing that Pacquiao was having trouble seeing out of that right eye. Sanchez working behind the jab. It's hard to tell who has the power advantage, but you see Sanchez flicking that. He'll, he'll continue to work on that right eye if he can. We go to round three, schedule 12. This is a unification bout of the WBO and IBF junior featherweight title. Low blow. Down goes Pacquiao. Marty Dinkins been talking to him. There's a warning being given to Sanchez. Probably the next time. Now Pacquiao can take a little more time if he wants, but he didn't elect to take more time. He's okay. But he did go down on that low blow. Now he's coming out trying to find the mark. And he comes over the top with a nice left hand, and now he's flicking that jab like his corner asked him to after round one. But the blood is really pouring out of that huge gaping gash over his right eye, just below the eyebrow, that soft tissue area over the eye. They'll be monitoring that the entire Stop. night. Stop. This is not Stop. going to be a pretty sight as this fight goes on, that eye of Manny Pacquiao of the Philippines. Good punching inside, but missing the mark. Sanchez lunging in, almost another clash of heads. Back out, comes in to throw punches. Stop, splitting with his right eye a little bit as the blood continues to flow, and it's hard for him to see. He's basically fighting with one eye right now. Halfway through round three. Don't believe it's going to go 12, but we'll see. Back out does not like to go the distance. This is 
Pacquiao's 12th title fight, first defense. Won his last seven by stopping Vince. He was a good straight right followed by a left. Sanchez has to clutch and grab because those went whiffling by his ear. That got more aggressive determined. You can see him grimacing as he's trying to land some effective punches. Sanchez was standing there for a second. His head was leaning forward a little bit vulnerable out there. Back I was unable, unable to see it or take advantage of it. Sanchez continues to throw hard punches. Right, stop! Stop! Marty Deacon sending back out of the corner. One point taken away from Sanchez now. Another low blow. So that could be a very telling point in this fight, even though the bleeding is coming from Pacquiao. Sanchez has just gotten a point taken away for a second low blow. There's another one that was right on the line, so Marty might have a little talk with Sanchez. Pacquiao will go to that corner and see how they're working on that eye. But that could be a very important point in this match. With a point taken away toward the end of round three. One point. Let's take a look at the low blow that sent Pacquiao down to one knee in the corner. He didn't take long to recover. That kind of lifted everything up, but you can see immediately it affected him. And he's like, oh boy. Definitely a low blow below the belt line. And Pacquiao goes back to work Lenny, later because he's I'm tell you now, don't a very retaliate. aggressive fighter. Those of you who have not seen him before, this is only the second fight in the United States. The last one's when he won the title in Las Vegas back in June. Seconds out. But interesting Let's situation in this fight has developed because of that point being taken away. Remember what I told you. From Sanchez. Sanchez is nine years older. Olympio Palera, this is his 42nd professional the same fight, you. 20 go. knockouts, seven losses on the Sanchez record. Pacquiao is 33 and two, 24 knockouts. Pacquiao is in the red and blue trunks. Sanchez purple and gold. And we're in the fourth round scheduled 12 unification fight. WPO and IBF Junior Featherweight Championship. There's Pacquiao back and Sanchez in the corner. Right, right. And now they close. Right. Right. Sanchez has given up a few years, and he's been quite active in the first three rounds. Usually not a factor in the lower weight classes, though. They're always in good shape. Back out trying to unload now. Right. Right. Marty Dinkins stepping in, taking a look at what's going on. Right. Stop. Stop. See, uh, Sanchez taking a little punish, but then he goes in and he holds. Stop. Stop. Sanchez Stop. Deploying, a little, deploying a little wrestling move there. Marty doesn't like it too much. Marty Deacon's one of the most revered refs in boxing, knows his business. Sanchez continues to flick the jab and then Pacquiao's been effective when he did work his bat, double up his jab, but he, he's always looking for the big shot. Sanchez is not going to stand and have another low blow. Break that Pacquiao was complaining about. But it wasn't a very hard shot. Pacquiao stepping in, throwing combinations. He's a warrior. Pacquiao's gonna continue, that's his break, style. Break, stop! Here comes Pacquiao stalking across the ring, trying a little uppercut inside. But basically stop, stop. trying to land the hardest shots he can. Sanchez is trying to step inside and hold a little bit. And Marty Deacon warning about the headbutts. Watch out for the head. I don't know how much more damage. That eye's holding up really well for considering how bad it's cut. The Pacquiao, not a fan. There's another takedown. Sanchez, that could injure a fighter. Uh-oh, injury. Pacquiao is injured. Looks like his leg. Five minutes, Marty Dickens is going to give him five minutes. Pacquiao could be seriously, he's not happy with himself. He's got a hurt leg. I don't know exactly what it is. Knee, could be his knee. 
Things were getting a little ugly from Sanchez. He had low blows in the last round, and then in this round, he did a basic takedown, and now you can see Merciless Manny is mad, as well he should be. He came here to fight. He came a long way to fight. We're going to give him a total of five minutes if he needs it. Stretching the knee a little bit. That's Ready. always dangerous when a fighter gets taken down like that because their legs get crossed up a little bit. Now the corner's yelling out at Manny. They want him to come over and take a stool if he wants to. Let's take a look at what's going on here on the other side. Marty Dinkins got him in the corner taking a look at him. There's a low blow right there. Once again, Sanchez has just turned this into a, a he slipped right there. Sanchez leaning on him. And I believe he stretched his knee. There's a low blow. And then Sanchez puts a wrestling takedown move as Manny was reacting to the low blow and also the slippage. Immediately starts holding his leg and it looks like a, a problem with the knee. We don't know quite what it is. We'll try to check on it. Let's go. Now he has Let's go. coming up on a couple of minutes of his five minutes. He's back out there. Manny Pacquiao is bleeding and he's got a hurt leg and he's out throwing shots. Sanchez is not going to let him do it. He's going to tie him up. If Pacquiao can find the range, he may be beaten and bloody, but he's definitely got enough punch. Sanchez flicking the jab, going around left. Pacquiao, now it's getting busy inside. Pacquiao wants to go. He wants it to go. Let's go. Big punches on the road for Manny Pacquiao. Sanchez fighting his way out of there. Sanchez coming back into the round. Crowd circling their approval tonight. These two getting it on the last 15 seconds of that round after Manny Pacquiao had to take it easy for a while with an injured leg. So we've seen a little bit of everything in this fight. We've seen a headbutt. We've seen low blows. We've seen a point taken away. We've seen a takedown and an injured leg. Here's the last 20 seconds. That was kind of a shove there when Pacquiao went down a little bit. It was not a punch. He was not affected, but he got him riled up. He's riled up anyway, and here we go. Pacquiao stepping inside, trying to work on the inside. Sanchez. Taking some punches there, and at the end of this, watch Sanchez come back. There he is, back out with the left, flicking the left jab, and then throwing the punches downstairs. Sanchez is dangerously close on a lot of occasions to landing another low blow. As we go to round five now, we're scheduled 12 here in San Francisco. This is fun to watch. I'll tell you what, Manny Pacquiao brings some money's work to you. Agapito Sanchez from the Dominican Republic, very savvy fighter, 31 years old, 12-year veteran in the ring. It's a junior featherweight action. Hard shot over the top of Sanchez, then he works down on the belt line a little bit. Pacquiao stepping back out of it, and Sanchez goes back to work. Back Pacquiao up a little bit on the ropes. Pacquiao looking for some hard shots inside. But both those shots missed the ball. Good combinations for Pacquiao. Sanchez okay, stop, will hold. Stop, stop. Will clutch and grab a little bit. Dinkin steps in and moves him back. You see the southpaw style of Merciless Manny from the Philippines. You can bet all of the Philippines that are watching the fight are with their man tonight. He is a huge national hero. Now he goes to work in the corner. Crowd reacts, but not a lot of damage done there. Crowd getting quite a kick out of the action in this fight. Now Manny's holding on with one hand, sneaks in a little left jab with his left hand there. Manny breaks him up once again. Like I said, we've had a little bit of everything. Been a lot of wrestling, a lot of clutching and grabbing, and then Manny is not a lot of secret to what he's trying to do. He wants to throw big punches, and he can take big punches. Sanchez standing right there, working combinations, but 
Now we see blood on the left eye of Sanchez pouring down. I believe something has opened up over the left eye of Sanchez. Don't know if it was from a clash of heads or not, but it could have been from the blood from from Pacquiao too. But there it is. There's a cut on the left side of the head of Sanchez. So now we have both fighters bleeding. It's that kind of war. It's what the people come to see. Two fighters just letting it all hang out in round five here. Like a Peter Sanchez of the Dominican Republic who lives in New York now is in the blue trunks. And Manny Pacquiao of the Philippines is in the red and black trunks. Final seconds, round five. Both fighters continue to throw, but the story in round five has been the blood coming from the left eye of Manny, of uh, Agapito Sanchez. Manny Pacquiao has been bleeding since the second round. Both fighters just throwing. That's the end of round five. People on their feet. You look at the blood streaming down. Pacquiao's corner has worked on that eye diligently, but there's not a lot you can do. Now Sanchez has got a problem. His cut man is Tony Rivera. Let's take a look at Shane. This is a, you know, you can go one way or the other in that round. Uh, they were both throwing and. You shouldn't retaliate back then. Just who do you like? <laughs> Man, he just landed one right on the nose right there. And here comes the end of the round. We'll take a look at that again. Sanchez is not back down at one bit. Back out continues to try to throw combinations inside, but he's looking to load up that big left hand that he has. We're going to round six from San Francisco inside the Bill Graham Civic Center. Both fighters now have problems with with blood in the ring. They've done an excellent job on Pacquiao's eye, I have to say. It could have, it just, it's a long gash, the length of the eye socket, and they've managed to contain it for the most part. But as this goes along, I can assure you that will be a fact. Whether or not he'll wind up as a one-eyed fighter at the end, we'll have to see. There's not a lot of swelling around it, which is good news. Marty Dickens has had his hands full on several occasions in this fight. One point earlier was taken away. Sanchez moving back now. That left hand might have hurt him a little bit. Tries a big uppercut and misses by about a foot. You have to see the young man from the Philippines trying to chip away and continue to throw shots to see the blood pouring out of his eye. But he can see clearly, so he's in good shape from that standpoint. Time, time, time. What are you doing? Once again, Marty wants to talk to these fighters. Another clash of heads. Gonna have the doctor look at it. We are after the fourth round, so we could be going to the cards if the doctor wants to stop this fight. That is an ugly cut. So that's it. So we're gonna go to the scorecard. Marty Dinkins did not want Manny Pacquiao, who's extremely frustrated right now, to bleed any more or suffer any more damage. That is a huge gaping cut. They've done all they could do with it. The crowd doesn't like the stoppage, but there's not a lot you can do. You risk heavy damage to a fighter's eye if they continue like that. Blood streaming out. One of the rules under which they're fighting, the unified rules, they do go to the scorecards after four rounds. We were in at 120 mark of Round six. All kinds of ugly things were happening in this fight. We're going to wait for Michael Buffer here before we show you more highlights of what happened in this fight. It was, uh, like I said, it got to be down in the gutter on numerous occasions. Manny hurt his leg, his eye was cut. This young man was out there and ready to, he was ready to rumble tonight, that's for sure. Sanchez. You know, this is a veteran who, if he has to get in an ugly fight, he can do that too. And 
He was trying to do everything he could to try to inflict damage, but he was guilty of some uh, low blows in this fight that may have turned this around. Here's the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Referee Marty Danking, after being told by the physician that the fight could no longer continue due to accidental headbutts suffered by Manny Pacayo, the bout is halted in the sixth round under the rules in accordance with the international, pardon me, with the uh, World Boxing Organization, the International Boxing Federation, and the American Boxing Commissions, the unified rules, the bout will go to the scorecards for the rounds completed plus the sixth round in which the contest was halted. The scoring is as follows. Ricardo Bay scores the bout 58-54. He has it for Picayo. Marshall Walker scores the bout 57-55. He has it for Sanchez. Raul Caiz Sr. scores the bout 56 56. It is a three-way split. The bout is officially declared a draw. Each champion will retain his title belt. The bout is a draw. Each champion retains his belt.